Welcome Libra, I'm Juanita and today we are going to look at what it is that is, um, sorry I've just lost what we're doing, <laughs> I know what we're doing Libra, we're looking at the next two weeks for you, okay, and what it is that you need to focus on, we're using the Sacred Forest Oracle deck and the Osho Zen Tarot for clarification, which um, I was going to change up, but <clears throat> honestly, I connect so much with it that it really does give more of an in-depth story. So, you know, I feel like we need to get that. Libra, I feel a little bit of apprehension from you, um, like a little bit maybe nervous as to what's coming, um, a bit of anxiety potentially. Um, yeah, so let's just see what comes up here and see. Whew. I'm like all sweaty and all oh, beautiful. Oh my God, Libra, like Libra. This is beautiful. Look at this unicorn purity. This is really interesting, Libra, Libra, because this is how I actually see your energy. When I think of Libra, I think of something like this. Um, it's like this real... I don't even know how to describe it, like this, I mean, purity inside of you, but um, it's kind of like this essence, right, of of um, the truth of who you are, I suppose, and I kind of see how, like, these all these, like, glowing stars around, and if you like Libra, when, you know, it's like, it's like this universal energy inside of you that radiates out. And I feel as though for some of you, Libra, you need to tap into that maybe or at least become aware of that, that that is inside you. Um, hmm, interesting. First card up is Thunderbolt. So whew, that's pretty big coming out here what is that about Libra wow we're cryptic already and we've only just started Thunderbolt um I kind of feel like Libra this could be about letting go of the things that no longer serve you anymore whether there's been something that has happened in your life Maybe that's what the apprehension about is about. Maybe something has happened and you're not too sure which what's to come. Um, right now, Libra, I feel like this purity of who you truly are is going to help you get through this. Okay. Um, I feel as though, oh, man, this is really quite heavy. This is a massive, incredible change. And I want to say with this Innocence card here, and I know this might be difficult for you right now, Libra, but to look at the smallest of things to see what you can learn from them right now. Um, there could be, because there's something so big going on that um, it might be hard for you to focus on the smallest of things because there might be, you know, big things to take care of kind of thing. But I really feel like this is necessary for you, or this is going to help you to at least uh, refuel um, or rejuvenate, in a sense, as you go along this path that this Thunderbolt has created. I don't feel like the Thunderbolt is a bad thing, even though it might feel like it is. I actually feel like, because these two cards is surrounding this thunderbolt and um so i feel like this is a cleansing of things that no longer serve you and it might not feel like that for you right now libra but you will eventually get to the point where you can see um how it serves you but right now start appreciating the little things and realize libra that these things have a lot to teach you okay um yeah.
I feel like Libra, it's about letting in maybe other people to come and help you as well for some reason. And to hear what other people have got to bring to the table. Um, water spirit, manifesting dreams. Sorry, I have to go back to this because I feel like for some of you Libra that um, it might be like you have gotten to a place in your life maybe that you feel like you're the unicorn dancing around the forest. <laughs> um, and to remember that there's always things to learn that you can never know everything. And so it feels like there's this need to take a step back um, so that Sorry, I'm just seeing there's a need to take a step back so that you can kind of become the student again, if you like. I feel like there's this need for this for some of you. Yeah, if, it could be that if you haven't had a thunderbolt moment go on in your life, then that's the message for those, the other ones of you who are listening to this. Anyhow, water spirit, manifesting dreams. Okay, Libra. Going with the flow, right? Being flexible here. Letting the current carry you, okay? Um, sometimes with manifesting, we feel like we have to organize everything and there's a certain destination we want to get to. Um, and I feel as though for you, Libra, it's really about every step of the journey that you need to take on board and learn about all the little things that go on. The other thing is we've got this sparkling going on here again. Um, and I feel as though there's really something so important about this. And, and this could very well be appreciating all those little things that maybe right now you're missing or you're not seeing because you're focusing on the big things and maybe you're focusing on what it is that you're aiming towards and um yeah i i because i'm looking at this otter here and he's looking out to the distance and um instead of seeing what's right in front of him you know actually seeing what surrounds him and the beauty of that. Yeah, experiencing, right? Experiencing what you're actually in, okay? So if you're going through this thunderbolt, you might not want to ex be experiencing that because it feels really um, awful. But in order for you to get through this, um, it really is a matter of feeling those feelings because um, that's going to help you get through it, to embrace to embrace what's actually going on right now. Um, sharing, sharing how you're feeling, right? Um, sharing your experience, sharing what it is that you're experiencing. Some of you may feel like you need to... focus on something else to get through this time but I really do feel like it is coming into this present moment to experience it um, because what's going to happen down the track is you're going to learn from that and really take note aha okay now I'm getting it see it comes eventually take note of every little thing that is going on for you right now Libra so that down the track you can actually share that okay so that you can um, help other people who might be going through the same thing. Um, so by taking note of every little thing that you're doing, what works, what doesn't, what feelings you're having, every single thing, um, because you're not going to remember, it's all going to end up being a blur, and you're going to be like, I don't even know how I made, through that, made it through that, but I did. Um, and this could even be, Libra, past times where you, you have experienced... Um, something traumatic that has happened in your life to recall those times and really start jotting down what it is that um, helped you how you got through that so that you can start to
first of all, heal anything unresolved. And second of all, to see how far you've come. Freedom. Something is limiting you. There's this ego spirit here. Maybe, Libra, there's things that still need to be resolved. Or maybe by doing this, this will give you freedom. I f mm. Yeah, what is this? See, now we're courage. Courage, Libra. Having the courage. No matter what the circumstances that are going on for you right now, understanding, Libra, that those the all these things are happening to help you grow. Okay. Um, and and maybe this is why it's important for you to start noting everything that's going on. Because with this growth, right, it might really feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and you don't know how you're going to get out of it. But there is a way out. And maybe by writing things down, it's going to, or sharing, sharing what is going on, um, it's going to help you kind of have that light bulb moment to go, ah, oh, this is what I need to do. Or someone might come in who you least expect, like a little grasshopper, to show you what it is that needs to be done for some of you, it's about going out into nature and really observing what is going on in nature and there is going to be your answer. Okay, um, guidance. See, this is the next card that's come up, guidance. Um, there's this, see this turning away, this lady's turning away over here. Um, there's this angelic being, so maybe this is guidance from your guides, like actually asking your guides for help, but there's some kind of guidance that you're turning away from, which is really interesting. The other thing is for some of you, you may feel like you have made some sort of progress and it's not being recognized, potentially. Or you can't see the progress that you've made. You may feel like, oh my God, this is still like here. Yeah, like, why is this happening type of thing? So you might not quite see that progress, maybe. Frog spirit, renewal. Little things, again, Libra, the little things. See, we've got this, you know, this is like that princess in her golden ball and it rolls down to the river or whatever, or the lake or the pond and the frogs there. And she sees this as a, just an ugly frog, but it's actually a prince who had a spell put on him. And, you know, and by touching the prince, he is able, he's just waiting. For, it has to be a princess that comes along and touches him or something along these lines or kisses him or something. Um, and so, but to her, she just doesn't believe the frog. There's a doubt in her. I'm wondering if there's a doubt in yourself about your ability, your, your, could it be your ability to get through this time maybe, or like you've got actually this magic inside of you that you don't believe in, or you're not even aware it exists, potentially. Moment to moment, and we've got source here, right? There's something inside of you that you need to tap into, and it could be a passion, something that you're passionate about. Um, and that is but this moment to moment. See, this is how I feel like <clears throat> you're afraid of doing the next step. You're afraid of making the next step. Um, and I feel as though for some of you, you feel like there's only one option, um, but you may not be, 
it's like you kind of Libra need to look around to see that there's other options but right now there's sort of this narrow focus and it's keeping you from seeing other avenues that you can go down okay um maybe it could be Libra that you're just seeing an experience that you've had as ugly and you're not actually seeing it um seeing what is in this experience that can help you to tap into this there's this new beginning here waiting for you but it's like you need to tap into this internal passion or you're searching for the passion why isn't it coming through clearly come on give it to me clearly leadership stag spirit yeah let me show you this um it's so funny because i feel like i'm almost there with it and then i feel like i'm not quite hitting the nail on the head and for some of you that might feel actually what it's like for you um the stag is pretty confident But I'm just noting, noticing that the stag here is coming up out of the shadows and into the lights. A little bit like this courage here. Coming up out in between the cracks here and into the light. Like this flower has grown no matter what the circumstances have, has been. It has still had the courage to grow. And I feel like this is the message for you, Libra, to still have the courage to grow to go into this i don't know that's not it's like because i'm feeling like is it to go into the light but i feel like it's more than that it's not about growing into the light it's about bringing the light out from you to be seen the purity of who you are this source energy within you that needs to be shared with the world um yeah because there's this it's kind of like coming back to this innocence inside of you right um and really tapping into that libra this is super interesting like, I love it when the messages are clear, but I kind of love the cryptic thing about it too. <laughs> um, so I hope this is resonating for some of you. Letting go. Letting go. What are we letting go of? Walking away from things that don't serve you. It's kind of like this choice. It's this choice like you want to head in a different direction. But there's something stopping you from doing that. But when you do, you're going to actually blossom. Like, I feel like you're going to rise up. And um, this is this flower again, right? In a different form. Really, really um, kind of like rising to the occasion sort of thing yeah and maybe that's what that thunderbolt is about you know there's something that has happened and it's a matter of you rising to the occasion like actually getting through this and drawing on you this internal power you might not feel like you have it in you to get through it but you do crystal cave this is about having this trust that you do know this the answers are all inside of you and some of you are looking on the external for the answers and the you're not finding them because you actually need to turn within okay um and and trust trust the tools that you have already libra Laziness. The 
This is interesting to have with this trust card. Why has this come up? Why has laziness come up? Postponement. Interesting, Libra. See, now we've gone all cryptic again. Here I was like, oh man, <laughs> get in on track. And it's like, oh, hang on a minute. But wait, that's not all. <laughs> um, taking the time to go within, um, making sure that you actually do the work, that internal work that needs to be done, Libra. Um, there's kind of this thing, Libra, of being very, very aware of making sure that whatever you are projecting externally is reflecting what is going on internally. Okay, because there's this sense of everything's perfect, everything's wonderful, I'm having a fantastic time here at the beach, um, but it's an illusion because you're not actually act at the beach, you're in the kitchen pretending to be at the beach, right? This could be, yeah, it's like pretending you have everything you want and not actually accepting the fact that there's something missing, in a sense. Okay, so this is a matter of really taking the time to reflect. Okay, reflect on what it is you truly do want. And, um, you know, like, you know, with this manifesting dream here, Really, really being honest with yourself about that, okay? And trusting that that can come to you because some of you don't trust that you have the ability to do that. Okay, Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. Really taking this time, you know, this is great following on from the postponement card. So taking the time to really... Um, it's, do you know what? It reminds me of a bear going into a cave and hibernating a little bit um and maybe that's what you feel like doing and if that's what you need to do to have self-care libra then do that okay i would just be aware of not getting stuck um in that um and it could very well be that for some of you you have been on this retreat type of the been in this type of energy and it's now time to come out like winter's nearly over type of thing um interesting interesting clinging to the past um yeah it could be time to take this box off your head because um like not really wanting to see the truth, right? And it's the same as this. There's something that you do not want to see or something that you don't want, you know, like you. no matter how much you pretty it up, Libra, it's still a box over your head. It doesn't matter, like, how gorgeous it looks. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And, and, and it's sort of like looking at the things that have gone wrong and um, not actually moving past those. So this is where this healing needs to be done to let it go. It's not just letting it go, Libra, and drop it and, oh, forget about it. You have to do the work, okay? Because your inner voice is really calling for you to go in a particular direction, and this is holding you back. We now have Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. Oh, my gosh. And here's the bear. Here is the bear Libra coming out of the cave and actually getting into this, you know, it's not just coming out of the cave, it's coming out into this mystical meadow, right? Um, and this is what it's created. So it's kind of like being in this cave and dreaming up, like actually conjuring up, what is it that I want to create? You know, so while you're still in that space, 
really um not just not just dreaming it up but actually vibrating it out there okay because this is where it really comes from libra okay and um <clears throat> and also when you're in this space this allowing like kind of practicing listening to this inner voice to guide you okay because some of you don't trust that because this happened Okay, so you've kind of turned away from that and it's time to start tapping back into it. Okay, Libra. Um, and for some of you, it's like your dreams are so such that you kind of feel like, oh, I couldn't um I couldn't possibly dream of that. Like that that would be um that's that's a bit too far-fetched or you know that's not um what I am deserving of because there's this guilt here there's something that you're in your mind about and you're holding on to it it's like this self-punishment in a sense so maybe something happened that caused this thunderbolt moment that you still feel as though you need to be punished for or that you may feel someone else needs to be punished for so you're kind of keeping yourself in this space and it is truly not helping you to attract the people that you need to have around you because this is what you want. This is your dream, right? This is ultimately what you want to aim towards, but this here is holding you back because it's not clearing the way for this to come through. So this is why... Um, these beautiful stars and all that were popping out, right? Because this is actually stopping these stars from shining bright, which is ultimately you, but it's stopping you from from allowing this in, okay? Because here we have all the stars here again, so it's very important to clear this so that this can actually come to fruition. Yeah, cool, okay. Great. Now, last card here, Standing Stones Passage. This is the direction, like there is something waiting here for you, Libra, a path for you to go down that is meant for you. Okay, this is really quite a sacred journey. And um, there are these things here that need to be let go of so that you can step onto this sacred journey and I want to say that maybe this is why you need to start writing down what it is that you're going through and that you've been through so this sacred journey here because it's like you're going on this sacred journey towards oh that's not people I thought that was people up there but here's the stars again. Maybe you're going towards other people. Maybe you're actually going to... Oh, we're back to Blim and Cryptic and we're on the last card here. Hang on a minute. Libra, I feel like, because I feel like there's this, with this sharing card, I feel like there's something that you have to offer. And by actually doing the work of the healing and noting it all down, yeah, isolation and integration right by actually doing the work and writing it all down because Libra this is this ice that you've put around yourself to protect yourself um and it's kind of like I'm not going to cry in front of other people I don't want other people to see my vulnerabilities you know there's there's this massive protection that um, you feel may have helped you, but it's actually keeping you in this globe here. Yes, Libra. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this globe here, um, you've kept yourself stuck in it and it's 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 limiting your ability to fly and rise up, right? We've got a Pegasus down here, right? This is surpassing what you could ever dream of and you're keeping yourself in this. Um, and, and this is like this here, right? Um, so what you need to do is you need to release whatever it is that you need to release because I have to say, Libra, that for some of you, this is done. 
this is already you've been through this it may not be happening now it may be something you have been through and so in order to start melting this ice that you've put around yourself because it's like if I have ice around me this isn't going to burn so much um, and it's time to melt that now so that you can get onto the sacred passage here okay um and you can bring everything that you have learned along the way in order to make this this change in your life in order to turn things around okay and 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 clear the way for you to bring this into your life for you to join in with the rest of the world okay in order for you to lead the way to share your purity Wow, Libra, that was a... Um, but we got there in the end. That's my way of saying that. That was, you know, all over the show. <laughs> I'm sure you understood what I meant. Anyway, Libra, I hope that resonated for you and I hope that helps you. Um, yeah, so please, Libra, if you would, please subscribe and share and like and do all that stuff so that we can help other people because that's really the key here is to help other people to heal um, and we can do that together. Okay, Libra, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.